Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chef Kao. I'm going to take you on a tour of culinary arts. Follow me. This is our dish area. This is an industrial pass-through dishwasher. There's a load of dishes in about 90 seconds. We move people in and we move people out. This is our buffalo chopper and meat grinder. This is one of the more dangerous pieces of equipment in culinary, but with proper instruction, you'll be able to use it and you'll be able to use it safely. This is an industrial meat slicer. Uh, same thing with the meat slicer. It is a very dangerous piece of equipment. But between Chef Susan, Chef Raymond, and myself, we will take you through the proper operation of the meat slicer. We'll make sure you're safe and it'll be a great skill to have for future employment. This is a floor mixer. It is a brand new piece of equipment. We haven't used it for anything. We got it this summer, and you'll be among the first people to use it. We make mashed potatoes, we might make brownies, anything that you can mix in your little KitchenAid mixer or with a hand mixer at home, we can do about 100 times right here. And this is an industry piece of equipment that will get you ready for an industry equivalent education. Our pot sinks. Every restaurant has to have a pot sink. They don't necessarily have to have a dishwasher, but you have to have a pot sink. This is what's called a reach-in refrigerator. And you could probably step into that if there were not shelves into there. Uh, we have several throughout the building. This is another industry equivalent piece of equipment that you find in restaurants all throughout the world. This is our walk-in freezer. A walk-in freezer you find in industry. Some restaurants are small and don't actually need or, or have the funds or space and facility to put a walk-in freezer in place. That's our walk-in freezer. All of these beautiful stainless steel tables here are for demonstration and for production. So as freshmen, you'll be on these tables right away. We're gonna give you a knife demo on day one when you are in exploratory. We use our demonstration mirror for you, which is a great tool that we have. This is just a very well-stocked, highly functional kitchen. Follow me. Down here you're going to find a variety of what's called small wares in the industry. Mixing bowls, different size stock pots, sauce pots, sheet pans, cutting boards, you name it and we have it. We are a highly equipped, very industry-like restaurant and that's why we're here. Knives. There's a variety of knives here, and there's a knife rack on this side behind you. These knives are all very, very sharp. And starting on day one in exploratory, we're going to put a knife in your hands. We're going to show you how to properly use it without injuring yourself. Over here we have our china and more small wares. You can see that we have quite a few. You want to bear in mind that we're going to have 22 or, or so students using different tools at different times. We serve hundreds of people when we do our buffets in our functional restaurant and we operate a restaurant for guests from the public, the staff and the faculty, as well as a cafe and bakery. And we're going to take you there in just a minute too. This is called a low boy salad refrigerator. This salad refrigerator is for use by our expediter. The expediter is the person that puts the orders together as they come out of the kitchen. You're going to get to see all of those great things. Our soup station. This unit is called a steam table. The steam table will house and keep hot two soups every single day. Soups that you'll begin to create as freshmen. We create everything from scratch. We don't purchase any finished products. It's all things that are made by yourselves, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And we've got some food out over here. This is the saute station. 
we don't have a whole lot out, but we've got a couple of surprises for you in another section of your tour. This is another low boy refrigerator that we use for our saute station. At saute, we make chicken broccoli alfredo, we make mac and cheese, we make shrimp scampi, we make risotto, we saute vegetables. Anything that you might have seen on the Food Network, you're going to see quite a bit of it here. This is our broiler station. From our broiler station, we have four different refrigerators here, and we make things like sirloin with uh, garlic herb compound butter. We make broiled haddock. Uh, you'll see a lot of different food coming out of our broiler station. We've got a pot rolling right here. Anybody like Rubens? Anybody a corned beef and cabbage fan? We're cooking a corned beef brisket right now that we're going to do a little demonstration with in a little while. And that's fresh. And we do this for our deli sandwiches all the time in culinary. We cook one a week. And there are a few people in the industry that do that. These are our steam tables. Our steam tables are hot holding units. They hold a wide variety of things for service. Mashed potatoes, rice, lasagnas, meatballs, sauces, anything you might need to hot hold for service, we have there. Over here we have two industrial convection ovens. During the holidays for Thanksgiving in particular, we roast eight to 10 turkeys. There's two more convection ovens underneath over there and two ovens over here. This we use as a pizza oven. And here's another conventional oven here with a broiler for all kinds of food. Chicken, steak, beef, fish, you name it, and we do it out of there as well. Fry layers. Got some potatoes cut over here. Looks like there's going to be some fresh french fries coming. You'll see that a little bit later on as well. Anything that can come out of a fry later, we fry. We make jalapeno poppers, we make chicken tenders. I could go on and on, but I won't. You'll see it live. This is our griddle. Um, I like to use the example of Five Guys Burgers and Fries when I walk by the griddle. That's how they cook theirs. They're one of my favorite fast food places in the industry. Um, and they make their fries the exact same way we do. Those fries were cut right here. Boom. We have what's called a panini press. A panini is like an Italian grilled cheese and it can vary with ingredients and different things that you put in them. This is our grill station. When we're functional, all of our sandwiches, our burgers come out of this station here. When we are operational, we make our own bread. But I've got a beautiful loaf of marble rye here and some brioche. There's some fresh cooked bacon there. So something tells me you're going to see something with um, marble rye and fresh brioche. I think, I'm thinking it could be a burger. Over here is our industrial toaster, our spice rack. There isn't too much that you can think of as it relates to spices that we don't have. Uh, we use a lot of fresh herbs in this shop, but we do have some dried herbs as well. You're going to see a variety and a combination of the two of those. Now we're going to head over to our bakery. And in our bakery, you're going to find more ovens. Um, first, before I tell you about our ovens and some of the equipment, I just want to say that this is also a very industry-like bakery. As a matter of fact, most of your neighborhood bakeries are nowhere near as well equipped as we are. We have two ovens here that we produce 10 cookies every single day. We produce muffins every day, scones every day, a variety of them, brownies, bars, blondies. Um, we make quite a bit of baked items here. Apple turnovers come out of the oven every single day for the staff and the faculty. Uh, there, isn't, um, there isn't anything you can think of that comes out of a bakery that we don't make. And more than likely, we make a lot more than most bakeries. This is what's called a proofing box. And again, a lot of people use their natural environment to proof. We want a beautiful piece of equipment to do it. A um, very specialized piece of equipment. We have a four burner range over here. As freshmen in culinary, you start out in the bakery. We make soups and, um, and a wide variety of things on this range. There's also a fryer later, a couple of what's called tilt skillets or steamers that we make pastry cream. When we do chowder competitions, we make chowder over here. 
So there's a wide variety. When you hear the saying, the next best thing to slice bread, is where the sliced bread comes from. That's a bread slicer. On this side of the bakery over here, we have a couple of what's called bench top versions of that floor mixer I showed you in culinary. And there are one, two, and three of those. We use them on a daily basis to make soft rolls. We make onion poppy rolls. We make focaccia. Uh, we utilize all of our equipment uh, very, very frequently. Over here, I've got an open container of fluff. <laughs> I gotta love fluff. That tells me that you're gonna see one of our signature bakery items in another segment. We have another equipment of small wares here, another rack full of those. Everything that you can think of in the bakery. Loaf pans, spring form pans, muffin tins, cupcake tins, cooling racks, specialty molds. All of that stuff is here in the bakery, as well as our bakery staples and supplies, baking soda, baking powder, all those good things. We have a wide variety of rolling pins. This is what's called a French style rolling pin. There's probably one for every student that works in the bakery. And we're gonna use them on a very regular basis. We've got a wide variety of portion scoops. Remember that when we talk about equipment in exploratory, these are called portion scoops, not ice cream scoops. Bed scrapers, spatulas, walk-in refrigerator over there, freezers, more reach-in refrigeration. If anybody has a favorite ice cream shop, I know being a Rhode Islander, my favorite one was Newport Creamery. This is a frat machine or milk chick machine. If I got any Rhode Islanders out there, we call them cabinets in Rhode Island. That's a story for another time. Another mixer here, we have several of these KitchenAid mixers, and some of you may have mixers at home. And that's a quick tour of culinary. We hope to do this again in person very soon. Thank you so much.